Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. So today's quick look is an engine uh, from a time long gone. Um, I like to think of the time period I got into the hobby in 1988 as basically the glow engine heyday, at least like I said in my time period, because when I got into the hobby there were more glow engine manufacturers than I have fingers on my hands. Major glow engine manufacturers. It was also back in the day when when you wanted to fly an airplane you actually had to build it and put effort into it strap an engine to it learn a lot of things it wasn't one of these things where you could just go to the store and an hour later you buy some foam piece of crap and you're out flying this was a time when you had to really be involved in the hobby so today's engine many of you may have never even heard of before is a Royal engine and this is a 45 RC ABC engine but this is actually a special engine because if you can see here it says that this was made in Taiwan which is the Republic of China so this engine dates back to maybe the late 80s early 90s I don't know exactly there's not a whole lot of information online available for it although I've had a history with these engines going back that far so it comes with the manual pretty short sweet concise and then of course here's the engine back in this day uh, engines actually came with toolkits that included wrenches um, open end wrenches hex keys that type of thing and of course the exhaust so this is kind of the packaging and what the engine looks like but I'm not just going to be showing this engine I'm going to be showing another one that's damn near identical if not two more so this I did a video on two years ago and this is a Magnum Pro 45 FSR ABC engine also made in Taiwan Republic of China so the interesting thing here is this is back in the day when both of these engines were made in the exact same factory by a company called Thunder Tiger yes Thunder Tiger manufacturing used to make numerous different clone engines if you will for the industry uh, oops that goes like this and as you can see these engines are damn near identical now the thing is like I said they were made by Thunder Tiger one's a branded as Magnum one is branded as Royal now Royal had ties to the United States and that it was marketed by some fellows in Denver Colorado in fact I think it even says here Royal Products Corp terminal access Denver Colorado so this was a specially branded engine for these folks that were importing this engine but for all intents and purposes these are identical engines and if you see well god they look very similar to an OS engine well you're darn right because they are almost exactly like the OS now granted this is a 40 FSR but I think you get the point these engines are clones these two are clones of this this was the master these were the clones but many of these actually can share the same parts now obviously the Magnum of old that was made in Thunder Tigers um, manufacturing facility years ago is gone now all that stuff is made in China but there are some pretty key differences here let me put the OS back in that this is the Royal and this is the Magnum the Royal had a brass insert installed which is always kind of a nice thing if you were going to strip the glow plug out accidentally you could more easily replace that as opposed to replacing the head and it also featured these I don't know if they're actual stainless steel screws or they're just plated to look stainless steel shiny but that was always one of the things that set Royal engines apart um, now the car the Royal engines always had this Royal Tiger or Lion looking symbol on them but uh, so I don't know so I've got that engine that's new in the box I've got this Magnum engine that's new in the box that OS engine is not new in the box I've had that uh, run that several times the thing is 
you know, I just don't know if I ever really want to run these engines because they're two classics from time period long gone. But, man, it sure is hard not to want to try and run these engines and put them against each other. But, we'll see. So that was kind of a short, quick look at what I consider the golden age of glow engine design and manufacture a day that unfortunately is long gone from our lifetime but uh, anyway that was what was on the bench today